What's up everyone? So again, thank you for joining me for our morning coffee and I got my oatmeal right here cooling off. Um, and we're going to just go through some topics that I've been listening to, hearing to, and things that are on my mind. So again, our goal is to get a hundred of these in a hundred days. So we're at number three today. And we're doing it outside today because it's nice out and I want to eat my breakfast outside. Here's my view. A little corn ocean and uh talk a little bit about training with y'all so one of the things i've been thinking about lately and this is because i had a new clients start with me the other day is what exercises should you do and then how do you decide that with a new client and it's a it, i don't mean that in terms of like oh should i squat or back squat or whatever but what principles do we actually use to determine what exercise we want to do with that person beyond just those exercises work muscles and so on that are important for their goal because obviously the exercise you want to do <laughs> better be related to muscles that are important for improving them so they need to get stronger well maybe you want to say their legs need to get stronger let's work exercises that work the legs so obviously that's one part of it but the other question is well there's lots of exercises that work the legs and is there really any one that is better and I think the answer is no, but there is certain exercises that are better for that person. And this is where it's really important to ask and think about, you know, what movements they actually like. Do they prefer a front squat, a back squat? Does one hurt their back more? Is one just more uncomfortable? Is, are they not good, you know, would they rather do a Hatfield squat with a safety bar? Would they rather do a leg press? I don't care what it is. Let's just figure out what exercises cause them the least issues, right? If you're training yourself, you wouldn't do exercises that bother you a ton. So why is it when you're training someone else, you might go, well, we're going to have to do this or have to do that. Let's have them be, you know, understanding that this is about them and their feedback matters. And we want to do exercises they like and exercises they can do well and exercises that don't hurt them and so is there really a difference between a back squat a box squat a front squat a safety bar squat a goblin squat a trap bar squat well i'm sure there are some differences but the differences probably aren't that extreme that we have to do one at the risk of it bothering them more than the other right let's think about that let's be logical and on top of that i also think about so i have a new individual how do I get them used to it? So in the first week, I like to mix in lots of different movements, lots of different exercises. Why? I want them to experience the exercises because odds are this person, as it is, I just want them to get comfortable with this training. My first, my goal in the first week and a half or week is let's get them in a rhythm of training. Let's get them comfortable doing the kind of training I typically program. And so during that time, we have the flexibility to not be overly specific. The goal of that training is just to simply train. So we're not like trying to up their back squat, up their front squat, get really strong. You're not gonna get super strong in a week. So let's get them in front of different movements and exercises and then let them have an opinion. Oh, I like that exercise. I don't like that exercise. And then you as a coach can watch it and go, oh, that exercise, they don't do that very well. Or this exercise, they do it really well. Um, and so it gives you some more understanding as to, again, now we, our understand our goal we need want to train these muscles or whatever and get those stronger then we want to see what exercises they're good at and obviously you can ask them but it's better to have them do it so those are kind of two things and the third thing i wanted to touch on was don't get caught up trying thinking you have to do every exercise either right on the opposite end of that spectrum doing a workout make that workout meaningful and really give the opportunity for that individual to work that exercise that you're training for example if i'm doing a like a trap bar jump and we're using that as our loaded jump exercise we don't need to do a trap bar jump a dumbbell jump a weighted vest jump a whatever jump barbell jump all in one training session let's just dedicate our time to that trap bar jump and let's practice it if that's a movement we deem important and we think we're going to use well we don't need to have a selection of all these different other exercises right our previous statement just stated that we open this up it doesn't really matter what exercise you do as long as it's a comfortable one. So we expose them to lots of exercises initially because we want to find the ones that make them comfortable, the ones that we think are going to work best for them and that they like and that, you know, you think is a good exercise for you as a coach to utilize. 
off that same logic, that means we don't need to do thousands of exercises once we start training. We can pick the exercises we like and we can make sure they're the ones training our weaknesses and we can use those to get better at, you know, that movement, that those train those muscles or those movement patterns. So don't feel like you have to do three by three of jumps, three by three of, well, let's just say we're doing a single leg workout, which emphasizing unilateral work. It's really easy to be like, well, I'm going to do a single leg Bulgarian. I'm going to do a single leg bull barbell. I'm going to do a single leg split squat with a trap bar. And then after that, we're going to do single leg step ups. And after that, we're going to do single leg, you know, whatever, whatever. And you end up doing like nine exercises for like three sets each. Why don't you just pick the one exercise that you know they're comfortable with and you know they do really well and do that one for like, I don't know, eight sets, six sets. If you're going to do nine to 10 sets of kind of the same exercise anyway, random movements. Let's just pick the ones they really like and do those really well. So, something to think about. I hope you guys enjoy. My coffee's cooling off and I want to eat my oatmeal. It's a nice day out here and I appreciate y'all listening. And if you guys enjoy these, please feel free to comment below, share, like, and subscribe to this page. I appreciate y'all and hope you all enjoy. As always, take care. Episode three, we're trying to get 100 in a row. So I appreciate y'all. Thanks.